Good morning. Today we're going to replace the plug on the old Hobart 140. That's right. It's maintenance time on the welder after all that welding on that cage. Um, a lot of the root welds were tigged, but oh, off camera, of course, because um, there's just some weird angles and probably views of me you don't really want to see bent over. Um, but today, it's the plug. cut back here so we can keep track of which wire goes where. This small piece here is the ground and this one has writing on it and it's going to go to our small prong and this one is blank and it's going to go to our larger prong. We're going to replace it with this which I picked up from the home improvement store this morning. First thing to do is pull these screws out, and they're they're pretty steep threads, so you don't have to uh, unscrew them a lot. We're gonna make sure that these are loose. And we're gonna cut back here a little bit so this becomes round instead of flat. Just kind of restacking where this thin piece of wire will come down towards the bottom. And then slide it in there. Put this on. Not a big deal. But here it is, point of no return. Now we're going to cut these apart. Now we've got three pieces. You can see we touched the insulation, but not enough to actually damage it. Right there. Go ahead and pull that out. guess that this is about 14 gauge-ish. We're going to go ahead and start with the 14, or 12, excuse me. May start with 10. That way we don't have as, as much opportunity to nick the wire. So I'm just up here just a little bit. at this and you can see I actually did get the wire so I'm gonna cut this back even more just cut that Try just uh, 
using the razor blade for this. That worked much better. You can see down in there, it doesn't, uh, didn't take any of the wire with it. Leave just a little bit of extra wire on this one. Or, excuse me, a little bit of extra insulation. We're twisting all these together, good. Slide this back over it. Now see, once it gets back here, it won't hardly move on there. So having these together and this down here makes it rounder and it'll fit better. So this will be Right here with the writing on the far piece so this one will go right there Now you can stick just a leg into there, but turning it around it, making that U shape, gives you a lot more contact area. And because it's got mass on either side of that screw, it'll stay tight longer. We'll do the other flat prong. That's why we left extra on here. thing here I'm actually just gonna take this all the way off you don't have to but I'm going to because it's the right thing to do here Get through that cap Those are good and snug. Now we'll do this one. You can see this is set up to run a, a, a something in there. And uh, we're actually gonna run through here.
I want to make sure we're not tightening this up <clears throat> on uh, the insulation. Just need it to be tightened on the wire. But we don't want a whole bunch of ins uninsulated wire sticking back in here. Now this here, this tab, goes on this spring. All right, so they're down in there. The tab is touching the spring. And if and when this screw these screws catch, they, uh, you'll see that they go in pretty quick. There it went. All right, electronically, that's good. Now we gotta get back in here and make sure this bushing is slipping. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take at least one of these screws out, make a little more room for myself. Not a lot more room, but some. Make sure that bushing goes down in there as much as we can. We could have flipped it around. All right, just tightened up. All right, that looks like it's good. We'll check it out. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll get some more content coming. Please subscribe.